What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing an excuse to run portal technician in a deck. This is the portal tech mission because the combo we're really going for, hear me out, is portal technician. This will make a random zombie and you're going to use final mission to destroy the portal technician, do four damage something, and then you get a big surprise. The main things I would like to see from portal technician uh, come out is either another portal technician, which I don't know if we've, I think we've seen that once on stream, but I think I've never actually seen with my own eyes, this portal technician spawn a Zombot, so that would be amazing. I'm just going to keep on doing portal technician decks until we get a Zombot from portal technician. That is how it's going. So this is a Valk deck, which means that we're going to be able to BM since this is a very uh, strong, powerful deck that you can win in an instant. Of course, the Valkyrie, whenever something dies, uh, it will gain two attacks, so there is the synergy with the portal. Since it's two guys, same thing with the Barrel of Deadbeards. Also, two guys, also obviously a very good card to final mission, because then it's doing five damage to one target, one damage to everything else in the field, and creating a 4-3. Very good combo with final mission. We got plenty of teleports, because you want to teleport in your Valk. Uh, we're also running Command just for a little card. Decided the last minute to run Dogue, which is a fun card. Hardly ever find uses for it, but the fact that it's creating multiple minions will mean multiple things. Uh, to buff your Valkyrie with uh, you can teleport this in in front of things to control while you're stalling for your big Valk combo The big Valk combo of course is turn seven you play mustache monument And then you play the Valkyrie on top of it and you just do 20 damage or however much attack this has To your opponent's face. We're also running Viking which is gonna justify having like the Dogue in it and all the little cards that you're pinging your opponent's block meter uh, This will drain the block meter. You can also play this on top of a mustache monument You can even teleport in your mustache monument on turn four and then just play play the viking on top of it on turn five which does this huge seven damage shot draining their block meter and will set up either a win just with this alone or with your valk to becoming an after and finish off your opponent let's see how the deck does hope you guys enjoy this should be a lot of fun it's a valk deck if you think this deck will go eight wins out of ten but yes we're doing standard we've been doing a lot of ohio lately we're getting back to regular pvd heroes standard stuff trying to do a fun deck you think it's going to be eight wins out of ten vote yes seven or fewer is going to be a no over here at the live stream twitch.tv forward slash prime up a classic pvz heroes stream it's going to be a classic <laughs> classic guys portal technician here we go if this turns into anything good it's automatically in the highlight com so good recipe for a classic uh is double barrel worth it i think you just hard mulligan for valkyrie Oh, got it. Easy. Go, con man! Some people like the Ohio mod better. Some people like the regular PVZ. I'm probably just going to be switching it up. Depending on my mood. I just felt like some classic today. Okay, that's the last time I'm saying classic, I promise. I promise you guys. You guys. Ah, go, come man. It's nice to teleport this in, but it's okay. I don't really need that. Con man, guys. Looking spicy, lowering that that health total of Captain Combustibles. Not a good matchup, because Valk is like OTK on turn 7, and Captain Combustible kills people on turn six. Let's see if we can at least hit one of these backup dancers. Exactly what I always wanted. I'll probably just plop now the barrel, which will finish off this 2-1. It'll kill my own guy, which is fine. Everything's gooch. Any other options? Not really. Honestly, we could probably set up this mustache monument and basically win next turn. I guess so many things are dying right now. What's the best ZMAC deck for me? For me, is my version of Trick Mech is the most reliable ZMAC deck. So, Trick Mech new, the one with the Thomas the Tank Engine on the thumbnail. Find that on Frima Gaming. Boom! Big barrel! Huge barrel! Don't look at Valkyrie! He is ready to go. Oh man, this is gonna be good for either. It's good for both. Either the Valk or just the Viking will be the cutoff here, so. I will spend the muff for lack of a better thing to do with four brains, but it's fine. It's also a difficult card for Captain Combustible to remove. Feel that? 
Uh, so it's not quite lethal with the valve. There's also block meter pro. Okay. Um, decision time. <laughs> do we take 12 damage or do we take 7 and no block meter, man? Um, I mean, this happens sooner. Or we could just go for the BM with portal technician. <laughs> no. I think because we can do this automatically in two turns and he really has to spend basically his whole turn dealing with the 7-5. I'm gonna go for the drain. Uh, Captain Combustible also not getting superpowers means it's less likely for him to at teleport repeat moss us. We're less likely to get mossed on turn 6. Wow, it's such good value that it trades with his entire turn 6 play. Buffs the Val, as if we even needed that. Yeah, I think it's just portal to- it's just, uh, well... Should we make it? We're at 18 health. You know? <laughs> go portal technician. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> go portal. Yes, go. Oh, we could have gone teleport Valk. Well, that would have been the smart play, but yeah, teleport Valk was definitely the play there. <laughs> we get it. We're gonna win here. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Nobody cares. Wow. Should I try to BM? I don't want to use Captain Cucumber. Should I BM, guys? Okay, screw it. I'm BMing. Screw it. I don't care. We have to get the portal tech. He's going to have to get... We have to get the portal tech. Guys, it's important. <laughs> Mustache Monument Valkyrie is a guaranteed lethal, but... Let's face it. What fun would that be, guys? <laughs> I told you what we were doing coming into the stream. I'm staying loyal to it. Come on, portal technician. Let's go. We need the Zombot so badly. Um, in terms of lanes, should I do this? Yeah, I feel like it. I probably should have put the Doke here and gotten the surprise card here. <laughs> Come on, we need something good. We need something good. Make it worth it for us. <laughs> so stupid. He's got superpowers now. This is the worst thing I could have done. God damn it. <laughs> we don't even have a lane for the Valk now. Because I played the Doke. Kind of stupid. Pretty dumb indeed. Final mission. Okay. Yeah, ducky. Uh oh. Oh no 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 no. Instant regret. Yeah. Uh, if that's all he does, we win anyway. Eh, screw it. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> it's still 18 attack. It's gonna be... Actually, it's gonna be a lot more... <laughs> it's gonna be a lot more than that. Nobody cares. La 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 <laughs> Guys, we win. It's 24 damage. It was totally worth it. Totally worth it. <laughs> For all you're actually throwing. See, this time I'm throwing. This time, it's not even throwing, it's BM. There is a fine line between BM and hard throwing, and we are we are teetering on that line. Right about now. Easy. Bet it wasn't expecting that. I love how I had that two turns ago. I technically had it on turn six too. That was turn nine. Jesus. Portal Technician will make something good one of these days. I, I trust. I trust in Arn Jesus. He will. He has forsaken us for now, but we're gonna get a visit on Easter. When is Easter, by the way? That's how Jewish I am. I literally don't even know when Easter is. April? No, it's not for another month. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, don't that. I don't know when these Christian holidays are. I don't know any of that stuff. All right, let's look for a Valk. Oh, got a Valk. Got a Valk. So happy. Uh, go. Yep, we're off to a good start. Hello. It's still Valk deck at the end of the day. We're gonna, we're gonna play it like a Valk deck. That is the goal. If I if I get Zombot from Portal Technician, I re can retire from PvZ Heroes finally. Yeah, after six years. Is it gonna be seven now? Oh my gosh, it's almost seven years? Damn. I'm wasting my life. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> no, it's, it's been fun. It's been pretty fun. So we can go two, three. I think I like this play. 
That Stoic BM is right. Stoic BM value. Idiot. Uh, it's probably good to go face for five, honestly. Everyone plays around Great Shadow Super. After this game's been around for almost seven years, people finally realize what Green Shadow Superpower do. They finally remember, so... You know. Yeah, we don't really... We have bungees in this deck somewhere, so... Maybe we'll get one. Maybe we'll get something from Eureka. Maybe we're gonna die! Maybe your mom! Maybe we do <laughs> we do beam me up without getting put guys look it's beam me up it's it's beam me up <laughs> without the trick it, we glitched it guys it's a happy oh my gosh we, I didn't realize we have mime garg together with a uh, mustache monument that we, that could that could get some value there's something there we also got firework zombie with barrels so. Yeah, we got a lot going on for us here. Know what I'm saying. I'd love to teleport this in and do some combos. I don't really know what you do. Valk, Mime? I mean, it does one extra bonus attack. I guess that's good, though. 10 damage plus 10 from the Valk. Something like that. The barrel's gonna come in pretty hard next turn. I think I just... I think I just do it like this. And we'll just literally teleport in the Firework Zombie and clear his entire life. Pretty sure that's what we're gonna do. It kills everything! <laughs> it just kills every- kills everything he's gonna play this turn as well. He's probably not gonna grow anything. He could Gray Flick, but we have the teleport. It'll cost two damage. It's okay. This is a really good Fireworks. There's no way we teleport in Mime Garg this turn, right? No. God damn it, he did it. Oh, man. He actually played Fertilize. This guy's sniping. He's listening to me. It's complete garbage. Uh, is there any reason in the world we would play Valk here? No, not really. Yetus? McFetus. <laughs> Ah, uh, we're almost dead, though. <laughs> this is not good. Should I try to proc the block this turn desperately so we can Valk him? We're doing eight. If we do this, we'll probably do five, six. Six and eight is not enough. I don't know. This is a huge problem. That fertilizer is probably going to lose us the game. I, I just realized I'm not running any big removal in this deck. I totally forgot to play fruit to to run fruit cakes. So. Say so, you know, it's pretty bad. Uh oh. Boink. Doesn't go after the doesn't go after the the the, the teleportation zombie. The thing keeping me alive. Here. Wait, what? The hell? Sorry, my Epic Games launcher just started. Come on, Fortnite. I didn't, I didn't press that. It's a virus. Is there any way out here? We could get Gladiator. <laughs> Honestly, Gladiator's the only way, right? Wait. That's stupid. Oh, I didn't even do it right for Gladiator. I had to be here. I'm pretty dumb. Yeah, Gladiator doesn't even doesn't even save us anymore. Damn it. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> if that had done anything, which it definitely doesn't. Oh, I really wish there would have been a way to win there, man. Fertilize just ruined our life. Crazy stuff, man. If I would have played the Firework Zombie instead of teleporting it in, he probably would not have had a Fertilized Target. They didn't play anything else that turn. Probably would have won that game. Very sad indeed. <laughs> Die? 
Oh, I should have gone for top deck final mission. What would it have done, though? Was I even able to play final mission there? Oh, yeah, I was able to. So you go Dog, final mission. What are you final mission, though? He only needed three damage. Would that have worked? I'm having my doubts. Oh, I could have final mission the 5-3 in the water lane. Oh, that would make sense. I guess that's correct. Guys, stop being mean! I'm a friendly fry, I'm up. Friendly neighborhood fry. Stop being mean. You guys are right, though. I should have tried to roll for final mission. It is very true. What was he gonna play? Teleport? Mm. Uh, go! Fry, how do you feel about Garg feet? They're beautiful. Oh, feast? Uh, it's too expensive, man. I'm a cheap Jew. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm saying. Half the time. I'm just gonna teleport the doge in here. The doge. Go doge! One cost zombies like being next to- Oh my god, that's a pretty- That's a pretty damn good doge! Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Add fruit cake instead of what? I don't know. Yeah, I should probably add fruit cake. It's probably a good idea. Guys, we can go Mustache Monument into Portal Technician. That'll be cool. I wonder if there's a deck with Mustache Monument Mini Ninja. Since they only cost four and you can do four damage to face. Is that good? Not really. Bruh. Bruh. Actually killed the dog. What a noob. What a noob. I'm going to invest one of these right now and actually play the portal on it next turn. I don't care. We. Oh, you propped the block? Oh, it's getting value. Guys, look, it's OTK Portal Technician. We're going to do it. It's going to be wonderful. Right, what are the Japanese restaurants like in Toronto? Um, there is... Uh, obviously, they vary. There's some that are good and some that are terrible. Uh, there is a place called O Sushi that has the best sushi I've ever had in my life, so if you're ever in the greater Toronto area, check it out. O Sushi. Today's stream is sponsored by O Sushi. Whether they like it or not. Whether they want to or not. Oh, I forgot to teleport it in, my bad. You know what? This has more chance of dying now if he if he blocks it, so it's probably better for the purposes of the stream to not teleport it in. Even though OTK Portal Technician, like little mini trickster Portal Technician would have been really cool. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yes! Guys, we're gonna get it. Unless he doesn't have something to block this guy. Block mini ninja. We need portal value. He had the berry blast. What is his deal? One plus four equals three. I don't get it. I don't understand. We'll never find out what was inside that portal technician, man. Feels bad. Why is Triassic now gl like glitched? Like the word Triassic is all messed up. Yeah, it's been that way for a long time. I don't really know why. Like this. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's, it's talking in binary. I don't even know what's going on. Somebody tell me what's going on. Alright. You don't need Valk. Valk overrated card. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know what I'm doing. Aha! 
We have... Did I go in Mini Ninja? I feel like I kind of want to play this later. I'm just going to go with the... Not Mini Ninja. Con Man is the name of the card. And it's dead. Uh, Portal Technician's going to have to carry us this game. It doesn't look like... Okay, we got Valve. Never mind. So we teleport this in, and then we teleport these. Or maybe I'll just play this on 4 and hope for the best. I don't know. I should retire from YouTube and just run the PBZ franchise. Yeah, the people over at PopCap absolutely love me, so they'll probably agree to that. No, they don't. They don't like me. No one likes me. Except for 100,000 people on YouTube. But besides for that, no one likes me. Yeah, really? Go, Doug! Make something good. Make Mini Ninja. God damn it, Doug. God damn it! It's completely useless. What was the deal with Astro Shroom and then Hibernating Berry? Very strange. No, 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 no. The best event card. Bruh. Alright, we got decision time. Should I go phase for seven? We can also block this with the portal technician. <laughs> Going phase for seven has to be the correct play here, right? We'll do the portal technician next turn, you know what? There's no need to. No need to go nuts here. We'll take the damage where we can find it. The way the Valk deck do. It's how the Valk deck do. This hand is very confusing. I think if he removes this, I teleport a Valk here. Uh, he kills his own guy. Why? Why kill your own guy? Why? Did he miss? He missed. Why not just, you can play that on heights. It doesn't have to hit three lanes. And then your dude lives. That doesn't make any sense, folks. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> the freaking Twilight Zone is what's happening. I'll, I'll play this defensively. We have another Valk that's only two attack behind. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Valk is looking, looking thick. Looking thick. Uh, portal here. This is what we're gonna do. Portal, portal here. <laughs> well, well, yeah, portal here. Doke, and then we have Heights Lane for Chimney Sweep. So let's go. Since that always happens. Okay. Yep, definitely fail comp. That was, uh, 33 of 20, 32, 45. <sighs> Aha! Portal Technician activated! Let's go! Plus, we're gonna have the, um... We're, the Valk is going to be good to go. Come on, Zombot. We need a Zombot for no reason whatsoever. Let's go. Give me something good. Give me something good. God damn it! <laughs> why is this card in the game? See, that's why. It's not just that it's unplayable and can't be added to the deck. It just makes the game less fun because then Portal Technician and Dog and, I don't know, Eureka. There's just so many reasons why that sucks, but... That's the way the dog go. Oh, he wanted to make... Oh, it wasn't such a fail after all because he wanted to do this play. It actually kind of makes sense. I mean, still not a great play, but... He really wanted there to be lava. Kill a 3-1 in order to have a, an activating... Okay. Okay, there's something there. There is something there, guys. Uh, how far are we BMing here? Oh, look, I got this guy. 
<laughs> you know what? I don't care. I don't care anymore. I only have. I'm only gonna have three health after this turn. I think I'm just gonna win. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Screw you. Easy. Go. I like winning. Winning's fun. I'm gonna win. That guy tush you out of here, damn town, and we know we're hitting, man. I don't even know what I'm hitting. I don't even know. I think, like, the Dogue has been useless. I should probably just take out Dogue and put in Fruitcake, right? There's a, gonna be a time where the, the opponent has, like, Wingnut. It's gonna be really bad. <laughs> Yeah, there was no chance of really winning that game if we would have not done the Valve play there. <laughs> That's good. We weren't gonna we weren't gonna win that one. Uh this is okay. Now we play Doge. Doge is good here. Doge's better than fruitcake in this scenario. See if we go for some kind of teleport it never works. So let's just Let's just save big money at Menards. God damn it, Doge. <laughs> Why am I always getting one what? It's like three in a row of getting we got imp, then we got skunk punk, and then we got cardboard. Bruh. Bruh. So we'll we'll proc some block and then we'll hit him with the cheese. Yeah, it's a third win. I forgot to update the score. We gotta do the fruitcake thing. Oh, Valk before anything dies. Let's go. Let's actually go. Teleport this in and hit him with some Viking cheese. Bruh. Bruh. Come on, man. Come on, man. <sighs> Do I even waste it now? Probably not. Go! Die, da, da, da. He knows he's against the Valkyrie. How would he know? Not gonna know. Where does this go? We want to prevent five damage that badly. I feel like this lives an extra turn even if he freezes it. It's supposed to hear. I think we can afford the five damage. God damn it! <laughs> oh well. That should definitely spawn something when it turns into a go. I don't know how that would work, but... I don't know anything. I, I'm pretty sure I played Barrel here. We're just going for OTK Valk. Kind of boring that he go to find my portal technician. I'm really, not really so happy about that. Uh, Valk is gonna grow by in, up to 12 if we do this, which is very close to lethal. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Should I play this, huh? We got Goat from Portal Technician. Let's just pretend he came out of the portal. Instead of coming out of Rose's ass. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, uh, yeah, that made a guaranteed lethal. Thank you. Thank you, Rose. You're so nice, Rose. Yeah, that was turn six. <laughs> Literally just made it lethal. <laughs> Give that man some counting. He doesn't even know. Yeah. <laughs> I just needed him to do this exact play. Easy. Goodbye. Valkyrie OP. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm making the switch, guys. Goodbye, Doug. Doug kind of won us that game, but... Still, man. We need, we need cake. Let them eat cake. Easiness.
Perverge! Perverge! He's my friend. He's so cute. Um, yay. I changed the deck list, guys. <laughs> Damn it. I tried to change the deck list, guys. Didn't work. Destroy you? I feel like I've beat this guy a bunch of times lately. Is this man a sniper? What's his deal? Oh, we got Eureka, nice. Disco Zombie's good with Val. It's two cards. I feel like Dogue is better. Because it's cheaper. So it's between a 2 1 and a 3 1 not so. Well, Dogue can make better than Backup Dancer. Okay, so we got Blob, which is very cool. Try to win with Blob. And we got Leprechaun. Leaperacon. You know, I bet he ain't expecting, um... Come on, Split P. He ain't expecting Conga. He ain't expecting it. He ain't expecting that. You don't even... He doesn't even... How would he know? Come on, Split P. Come on, Split P. Do it. Destroy me. He's waiting till the stream to delay to catch up to see what I play. This guy's a sniper. A snipey guy. Aha, idiot. <laughs> it's not sniping, oh well. Easy. Yay. Two for one conga. Bet you weren't expecting that. Well, no, nobody expecting that. Nobody, nobody even know what to expect. Okay, we're gonna win this, and then we'll do the final mission play next turn, I think. I might as well teleport in the Leaper Akon, right? Chumzilla doesn't have answers to gravestones. Yeah, that was a pretty good Kanga. Kanga's an underrated card, man. Wow. But why did he not play around Kanga again? I'm very confused. Man took his chances. How come... It's as if he knew it was... I'm very confused. Considerably befuzzled. Or fuzzled. I think I'm gonna play this because he can kill the 1-3 in a numerous variety of ways. So we're gonna hit him with this. And then, you know, any big card he plays gets 5 damage and then these two die. This barrel kind of answers basically anything he does here. Are Troller Flare decks OP? They're fun, I wouldn't consider it OP. I think King of the Grill is a good card? Not really, because it's just a lot of stats. It draws some cards too, which on turn 7 is a little bit too late. Being you playing it on turn 6, you're only using those cards from turn 7 now. What the hell? This man throwed a bang! Oh my god, we just got bamboozled! Who the heck runs bamboozled? Who the heck doesn't play around Final Mission? I'm so confused. This guy is confusing the heck out of me. You know what's going on. We played into that. Who doesn't play around Final Mission? It's not like some advanced, you know, convoluted card I could have had. I play Barrel on turn four. <laughs> I'm gonna play Final Mission about three million percent of the time there. Come on, man. All right. A perfect opportunity to play Portal Technician. And he kills my 2-1. Essentially making the 4 damage get blocked. By the block meter. Wingnut man. Dude, with this crap. That man got bamboozled. Well, we have Val. We hardly even need to, to teleport to, well, the bonus attack. I guess I should go after this, right? Give him one of these. I will give him one of these. The teleport's the main activator for the Val, since we're not necessarily killing the Wingnut here. There's a certain point where he's going to have to start killing these portal technicians, and it's just going to give us value. Icy was my editor? No. Mm -mm. 
okay. <laughs> Playing around Valk much? Like <laughs> kind of guy he knows. This man clearly knows. Little does he know we can actually bungee plumber face teleport. <laughs> I want to get him with that so bad too. It's bungee plumber to face teleport uh, blob in either of these lanes. Do you nuts have wings? I'm pretty sure a wing nut is referring to the. Um, there's a type of nut like a bolt, like a nut, a screw that you can do with your hands. It's a it's a circle with two wings on it. That's what a wing nut is. Actually, it's turn seven. We don't even bungee. It's just eight. It's one plus seven. <laughs> I still think he's sniping, but what do I know? He's just playing around Valk. Oh my god. If he rolls double once, we lose. <laughs> Got pot. Go pot! What, did, would I play it safe here? Is there any logic? Is there any... I mean, is there guaranteed lethal next turn with... This was turn 7, so turn 8. It's actually guaranteed lethal if we do it like this. We have to open up a lane, so that's why I'll do it in this lane. Yeah, this makes it guaranteed. Because we just have Mustache Monument Viking. So we'll do the right... They'll do, take the right choice here. The Blob victory was cool, buddy. Oh, God. That's, oh, my God. <laughs> well, anyway. We rolled a three. It was really about him rolling double ones. The Blob would have won. But anyway. Whack. Think you're going to block? Not even close. Not only did he not block, he doesn't even have any block meter. Where did it all go? Well, the game's over, so the ability didn't activate. You guys know. No, but for real, I, I don't think there's anything that goes wrong there. If you play Blob, he can get double ones and win. If you play Teleport Valk there, we always have Mustache Viking. So even if he blocks... There's no card that prevents that mustache viking from happening. He could heal, but then he'll he'll be healing with... He'll only have one health, so he'll be playing geyser, he'll bring up to five. The vikings still win. I'm pretty sure that was the way I did it was guaranteed lethal, and opposed to the inevitable 1 in 27 chance of him rolling double ones there, whatever it is. It's a 1 in 9 chance. You know, 1 in 9 chance of winning that. I ain't playing that. I ain't... I ain't, I ain't doing that. Taking these chances. I think I'm gonna hold on to portal technician because because I feel like it, okay? I don't need excuses. I just feel like it. I could have teleported blah, but again, then if he rolled double ones, because he was attacking first, he would have The play was better, guys. When will the next season start? Apparently there's no more seasons in this game. They programmed 60 seasons and it's over. Very sad day for basically every Jew, more or less. What the heck is this? The heck is this trash? I need a card. I need. I need something. Probably burning a teleport there was ill-advised. Bets do not go away if you leave the stream. Not even close. Maybe that one I should have teleported in. This man's annoying, you know? Man? So apparently this season will go on until someone at PopCap decides they care. And let's face it, guys. Nobody cares. We should buy this game. There is a part of me that, like, really is considering making, like, us business proposal? I don't know, man. I don't think it's easy to work with EA, to be honest. I think it's just the way that company works. It's just... Eh. Weed whack and banana bomb. You know what? This is okay. 
This is fun. We. They can program more seasons. They can program wherever they want. They can program this at five too. Question is, are they gonna do it? That's the real question. I'll play this here so we can teleport in theoretically the Viking in front of it, or it doesn't really matter. What? Fine clone time. Let's go. He's doing six. I'm doing four. I don't want Billy really give that man a shroom for a two. Where's the pine clone card? That's all he had on turn five, huh? That could have been really scary. You could have like won this game, though. You know. Oh, uh, we'll go for this. Maybe I'll actually. Uh... God damn. Maybe I'll final mission the portal technician though. <laughs> That's such a sad. Oh my god. The worst molecule in the history of history. So, five. Pretty important one damage to this, because now we can hit him with this one. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it going. His big mistake is he's ignoring Portal Technician. Portal Technician's gonna win the game. <laughs> uh, we can teleport Viking. That's pretty cool. We can also just OTK Valk next turn, so... There's no real reason, though. We'll teleport something here. Bruh. They don't need to program more seasons. They should be able to restart the existing program. It would require changing like two lines of code. Cool. Maybe you're right. They probably could just revert back to season one. Question is, is anyone going to get off their tushy and do it? I don't know, man. I don't think there's... I don't... Is there even a PopCap studio anymore? Does that even exist? I'm very confused. I don't know. Like this, maybe? And then you want these two to trade? So you have the bell? I mean, we have to just not roll a one now, I guess? God damn it. <laughs> oh well. So much for that. Uh, actually, it works with... If this is turn 8, we can do it with the Viking again. We have 11 health. Uh, you know what? This guy's being boring. Next! Next! <laughs> the only real hard decisions I've had to make this stream is if how much should I BM? Is it worth it, you know? Now nah, we'll get the next one. Dun, dun. What is a VTuber? I'm such a boomer, I don't even know what that means. That means you're like a vir virtual reality, like you're an avatar, then you wear one of those... What's the name of that girl who does it with the suit? I forget her name. Is that a VTuber? I'm a boomer. This is like a fidget toy, by the way. It's just a switch that does nothing. It's like, aha! Satisfaction! Beautiful. <sighs> Portal Technician! Portal Technician! I know, kind of boring opponents. Miku? Maybe that's her name. But I probably most of them do like do it like just with like a camera app that tracks their body. But she has like a whole suit that she does, and I like that's very cool. Good technology. What's with the torchwood? The only question I have: What's up with that torchwood, though? Setting something up. This guy sus. Now what's going on with this guy? He's gonna play Cosmic P. Come on, Ohio P. Let's go. God damn it. I was so excited there. This is pretty good dancers. You've been hitting one of those. Should I bungee the other one or should I go for superpowers? I think we'll get a little block meat first. I should do roast again. 
Yeah, once the winter's done and it's spring and I actually have energy for new projects, I'll decide what I'm doing with it. I don't know. How would I know? Let's pretend this is something dangerous that's gonna go face. I'm just probably gonna double, double, double bungee. And then hit him with some cheese. Okay. Okay, really? No, stay normal, human fry. What do you mean, stay? Do I look normal? To what? What? Where is he moving this exactly? You had a banana peel and you had to play. Okay, now our bungees work. He got that. So this always happens. Question is, should I go after this two one or this two three? I kind of like the teleportation zombie not getting plant fooded by this next turn. So. Which is really his only way of dealing with it. I really would like to teleport in several things now. I know if he has a B-Rex, it just got really big, but it's okay. Imagine being normal. This is just gonna turn into a skunk punk and it'll get killed by Ohio B, Ohio P, watch. That's what's happening here, guys. Die! First of all, Torchwood dies. So it's only doing one damage. Of course, it's gonna have more than one health here, right? Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Wait! Does it- it doesn't do a frenzy. There's no way- there's no game mechanic explanation why- no, it's not. That was pretty good. Coffee. I'll take coffee. You take those? Man, that's a lot of damage. We can go for the Valk, we can go for the Viking here. There's a lot of things we could do. We're at 12 health. Full block meter. He's at 12 empty and we got some... We got some guns. He could play like, you know... There's a couple of dangerous plays. But honestly, if he plays a Gatling P in lane 5, which is the scariest thing... Um... I think we win with 5 plus 7 wins, so... Pretty sure we got this one in the bag. He actually played Ohio P. <laughs> he actually did it. We predicted it a turn in advance. Sleep is the new sleep. What is... Okay, I have seen as many bamboozles this stream as I have literally in the past year. How many bamboozles have we seen in the last 12 months? Zero. That's how many. Uh, this is 10. We're very close to winning here. Guess what I'm summoning summoning I don't know, I'll do it. That's awesome. Yeah. Did that hit us twice for some reason? Oh, it has double strike. I didn't realize. <laughs> He's a Mexican Viking, okay, guys? Uh, yep, that'll be, that'll be lethal. That'll be lethal and a half. I'm trying to sing the Mexican song with the with the horn. You guys don't even know. Freaking zoomers. Oh hey time warp. What are you doing? You do Does he have another card to play? Aha, we can win with Portal. It's way better than Pal. Shut up. We're seven and one. <laughs> The portal technicians have been garbage, but we're still waiting for that good, that good port. Actually, the coffee zombie kinda, kinda carried there. It did a whole lot, so. We need a leap. 
That joke was kind of racist. Yes, singing a song from a different country is racist. No, it's not. Thank you, Thegs. Ten months. It's commonly called the Mexican hat dance. That's what it said at the ringtone, the Nokia ringtone. Mexican hat dance. If anyone knows the real name to that song, let me know in the comment section below. No, 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 no. Oh my god, don't get me started, guys. Don't even start. God damn it. It's okay. Kabam. I think we're still ahead. Both in tempo and card advantage. It's still a two for one. Your mom is a two for one. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, it's the GG's 420, right? I forgot how to pronounce your name. It's not Fegs, okay? God damn it. Bruh. I think we'll hit him with this. We'll hit him with this. We're taking a lot of damage because Bullseye. Bullseye. I think we're okay though. We're at 12. We'll hit him with this cheese right now. It's not even that good, but. Kind of a two for one. Uh. I, I suppose pretty damn good. I haven't been thinking about wind condition. I just realized we don't have a belt. And not a whole lot of prospect. Maybe that should have just gone face because we need the damage. Probably. So he gets free value here. So. Oh. There's Valk. Uh, just good face. It's a lot of pressure right now, and even if he puts here and makes a good trade, he's still taking 8 damage. So. If he puts a small card there... Anyway. Bruh! <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Fry your 3 for 1. <laughs> and he played a 1-2 Amphibious. Nice. Main's got some peas. Look the cheat. Wow. So, Teleport Viking is a thing. There's also fruit kicks into... I don't know. Teleport Viking is lethal? It's that easy? Is it really that... Not even difficult? Alright, well, we're 8 and 1. La 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 la. Smack! We don't even need Valk in this deck, man. Vikings. <laughs> Vikings been actually like doing more than Valk so far. Viking good card. I think just like teleports, full you know, eight teleports, and then you got mustache monument Viking. You can even just run kitchen sink instead of Valk. That's a good deck, man. Those are all brainy cards too, so you can mix it with anything you want in the game. Doesn't have to be brainstorm. Underrated. Oh my goodness. That is a hand. That is... Oh uh, yeah, that's the bet. So the answer is yes already. We'll play one more game just to smooth her out here. But Got Beta Caratina. Pulling up, playing defense. That's good. Answer is yes. Man... Push dash points. Well, seventy-one percent of you voted yes for a OTK Valk deck. I mean, easy money, right? Uh, Grandbuster again. We're only running two cost gravestones in this deck, so 
Honestly, that, that's okay. It, I wish that buffed Valk, but a gravestone dying is not a zombie dying, so... Much sadness. Much sadness, indeed. I don't know what I do. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to burn this teleport right now. Um... We could play this, burn it next turn, and hopefully draw into, like, a Viking or something. So I guess let us do that. <laughs> you, the chat is cracking me up. That's what's going on. God damn it. Look at the value. I play a 1. I play a 1-3, plays a 3-4. Still has a 3-3 three, three on the field. That's some craziness. Come on, Viking. Literal beta Caratina. With the trash superpowers. Honestly, the last beta Caratina I played with, it was offline. Got Espresso Fiesta for the win, literally the only card that could have won in that situation. With like a two damage there, it was crazy, man. Wow, top deck Viking? We'll take top deck Viking. We take those. We do take those. So this makes this huge health total. Reduced to just such a manageable area now. 11. He also has a 7-5 he has to deal with on turn 5, so... That is money. It sort of controls him if he needs to deal with it. Even if he plays Shamrocket, it's definitely negating a lot of stuff he does. He could jump lock it. It's a plow. Oh my god. Two for one? Two for one? Hell yeah! Two for one! Uh, final mission, top there. I feel like teleporting in the, um... Valk is probably gonna be the good play eventually. We'll probably spam backup dancers and at least block something here, and then... It charges it three times. Is that it? Okay, hold on. So now, Valk is gonna be at ten. Uh, you know... This makes a California roll make us lose the- literally makes us lose the game if he rolls like double threes here. This dies. We'll have two empty lanes. Teleport Valk should win here. Valk will be at 10. This- actually no, this play makes Valk be- oh sorry. This play makes Valk be at 12. It's 1, 2, 3. Oh never mind. Yeah, you never back up dancer there. <laughs> I forgot the barrel pants is two. So we have Teleport Valk in three lanes now. Uh, let's see, Brain Nanas. Should be good here. Viking got so much value, man. That thing where you tell... See, Mustache Viking is turn eight. That's very slow. It can be good, as you saw. It can win games. But, like, Teleport Mustache Monument and then Viking on five. I mean, that is... That's how it's done. Because also, turn 5 to deal with Viking kind of cost them a whole turn. On turn 8, it's like, uh. Mm. See if he's got two little cards to clog these lanes. That is gonna help. Does he even have it? Does he play in the water lane? <laughs> Give this man some plays. Actually, we have Fruitcake anyway, I forgot, so. Yes, we get to kill Starch Lord! Die! <laughs> Idiot Starch Lord, hate you. Freaking dead. Alright, guys. We killed Starch Lord. It's a happy day for all the for all the Christians. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Hope you guys enjoy. That was the Portal Tech Mission deck. We're definitely gonna do more portal decks. I'm gonna keep doing it until we get that thumb button. But this was a great stream, good Valk deck. Had some real fun. I feel like this really, the, the Viking honestly was the MVP of this deck because it's, it's how much damage it did and draining block meter and just being a reliable finisher, man. Viking's probably an underrated card. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was absolutely amazing. I will see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.